Hi everyone, this is Belal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Welcome to another Android development course and in this course, I will teach you all about working with Google Maps in your Android application. As you know, map is the key feature for many popular applications like Ola, Uber, Swiggy, etc. And as an Android developer, you must know working with maps. And in this course, I will try to cover a lot of things related to Google Maps. So without wasting time, let's start our Android project. So we will start a new Android Studio project. And then again, I will select an empty activity, then hit next. Then you can put any name. I will give my application as Google Maps sample. Then this is the location. This is the language. I'm going to use Kotlin because I don't like Java anymore. Then make sure you mark this option, which is use Android X artifacts. And everything else is fine. Now finish and wait until your project loads. So our project is loaded and in this video, we will learn the easiest option to add Google Maps in our application, which is by using a predefined template. So this is our main activity and in our project, we will add one more activity, which would be our maps activity. And if you want to use a predefined template to use Google Maps, it is very easy. Just right click on your package, go to new, select Google and then select Google Maps activity. Now it will create a maps activity. You can change the name if you want, but I'm okay with this name and the title is map. The layout file name is activity underscore maps and everything else is fine. So you just need to click on finish to create this maps activity. Now, when you add a maps activity using a predefined template, it creates a Google underscore maps underscore API dot XML file, which is for debug option. But right now we will be using our application in debug mode only. So we don't have any problem. But when you publish your application that uses Google Maps in Play Store, you need to put this value for your production mode as well. But we don't need to care about this thing at this moment. So don't worry. Now it says that here you need to put your API key, your Google Maps API key. And if you want to get your API key, you have a link here where you can go to enable the Google Maps API and get an API key. So I will copy this link and I will open my browser and here I will paste the link and hit enter. Now it will take you to Google API console and here it will ask you to select a project to enable the API. So from here you can create a new project or you can select an existing project. I will select an existing project I think. So let's select any application. Let's select the simplified coding and then continue. And then you need to click on create API key. Now it will give you an API key. This is your API key. So copy this API key and close this dialog box. So this is our API key, which is created on September 9. And this is the API key. And for security reasons, I have hidden my API key. You will see your API key here. So we will copy the API key and we will paste the API key here. Now we just need to open this maps activity. And this activity has a lot of code inside by default because we used a template to create this activity, but that's okay. We have not written anything yet. So we just need to open this activity. So for now, what we can do is we can make this activity as our launcher activity. And to do this, go inside your Android manifest.xml. And what I will do is I will copy this intent filter. And I will put it inside my maps activity tag. 
like this that's it now go back to your maps activity and we can just run our application now so let's try running the application so you can see we have a google map activity and the map is working absolutely fine this is my state where i live so our map is working absolutely fine now this was just introductory video we have not coded anything but we will do in coming videos and we will learn a lot of things related to google maps so that is all for this video friends i hope you enjoyed it and learned something new if you did then please hit on that like button subscribe if you are not already a subscriber and if you want you can share this video with your friends to help me and in case if you want some help from my side then don't hesitate in commenting below you can also contact me in my instagram facebook or twitter all the links are given in the description of the video thanks for watching everyone this is bilal khan now signing off